All right, so let's get into some Ravens. You know, um, last year didn't end the way we wanted it to. Uh, we had a 14-2 and two regular season and um, came up very short in the divisional round. Yeah. The divisional round, yeah. second round of the playoffs. Uh, disappointing loss to the Titans, obviously. And um, because Derrick Henry uh, took our lunch, Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, ran all over us. I, I think we kind of hit panic mode a little bit and decided we need to really ramp up the defense in the off season, which I feel like it was a mistake. Um, I think the yeah. defense was, was good enough. Not, not saying that I'm mad about the moves that, that they made. Let's, let's get something clear. Uh, we made a lot of, a lot of moves this off season for good quality players. So I'm not mad about that. I just think we, the, the focus needs to be on the offense. Right. So, you know, let's let's talk about the free agent acquisitions. Uh we picked up Calais Campbell. Can't yeah. be mad about that. Right. Mm -hmm. Did we did we trade for him? Yeah, he was a trade. They didn't they didn't really sign anybody. Uh, uh they, they Derek brought in Calais Campbell. Well yeah, they, they brought in Derek Wolf, but I think that was about it. Yeah. Um, and, you know, both of those guys I'm I'm happy with. I, I'm not gonna call those bad moves at all. Like, you know, that that fills the the need on, on the defensive line. Completely. Yeah. I, I, our defensive line is stacked. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we franchise Matt Judon, which I was hoping I was hoping we get a deal done for him. Just, just a long-term deal. But it looks like he'll be here for a year. And if he balls out again, who knows? I, I think, yeah. well, not who knows. I think he, I, I don't think we sign on no matter what. Right. Um, <clears throat> but defensively, that's all we really needed. You know, we, yeah. running, I mean, we had LJ Ford. He was a solid linebacker for us. Um, Peanut left in, in free agency, went to the Jets. So, mm -hmm. okay, we need to fill a linebacker position. But you can fill that linebacker position in either free agency or the draft. You know, and we did. The yeah. problem was – A couple times. <laughs> yeah, a couple that, times. that's the problem. <laughs> that's the problem I had right there. That's the problem I had. All right. Yeah. First round, we go Patrick Queen. Fine player. I think Patrick Queen is going to be an excellent player. I do. Mm -hmm. We need a wide receiver, though, right? Yeah. We need a, we need a wide receiver. Um, second round, we get J.K. Dobbins. Again, I think J.K. Dobbins is going to be a special player. I think yeah. he, he's going to And you're going to get a lot of value out of adding a running back to the best rushing offense in the history of football. Oh, well, you see, so. that, 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 that's the problem. Right? <laughs> I, I was getting to that. I was getting to that. I was, you know, was going to build it up and then kind of bring it down a little bit, right? I think J.K. Dobbins is going to look like a superhero in that offense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right? I think he's going to look amazing. But again – uh, you know, priorities. Yeah, you know, we that's we, that's four running backs now. You got Ingram, you got JK, you got Gus, Justice and you got Hill. Justice Hill. Yeah. I, I what are they what are they all gonna do? That. Yeah. So uh, that's fine. And and we end up getting Devin Duvernay and one of our, our four third round picks that we ended up uh, getting yeah. in. I'm not as excited about that. <laughs> I'm not. No, you know, I, I, I'm not. I wasn't a big fan of that pick either. Um, and, and to be fair, um, you know, after they took Patrick Queen, they they weren't really in a good spot to get a receiver. Uh, they would have had to, to to trade up. You know, um, yeah. with their second round pick, they could have taken Denzel Mims. Not a huge fan of Denzel Mims either. Uh, I would have liked that pick more than than Duvernay, but they really should have just gone T Higgins in the first. That was a move to make. And to hear them say it was between T. Higgins and Patrick Queen just really got under my skin. Yeah. You know, you recognize that you need a wide receiver. You recognize that, right? But um, their, their tendency is to always go defense. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, look, I thought they were on the right track last year drafting two young wide receivers, right? Hollywood Brown and Miles Boykin. Hollywood Brown looks like he's going to be a special player. And, mm -hmm. you know, I like the Miles Boykin pick. He just didn't do – a lot last year and I still have high hopes for them, but those yeah. are hopes. Right. And you can't, when, when you're close to competing for a Super Bowl, you can't, you can't rely on hoping on a player no. to be good. You have to know that that player is going to be good. So, which right. is why I still felt like, I still feel like we need to go and sign AB. Right. We I mean, need somebody yeah. that, that definitely we know can ball out. You know? Like imagine, imagine if their draft had gone more, uh, we trade our first round pick for DeAndre Hopkins, take J.K. Dobbins in the second, and still get Malik Harrison in the third. Nobody's complaining about anything right. at that point. 
Well, well, that's, that's the next pick, Millie Harrison. You know, and initially I thought, yeah, that's we can get somebody like Malik Harrison in the second or third round, and mm-hmm. that fills that need at linebacker. But to get Patrick Queen and Malik Harrison, what yeah. are you doing? Filling the need of linebacker. I mean, a couple times. So, okay. The outlook for the team, let's, let's get that straight. I think they're still a Super Bowl contender, mm-hmm. right? Um, we're not going to be 14 and two again, I don't think. But, I, you know, 12 and four, you know? Yeah. Somewhere, yeah. somewhere around there. You know, this is all assuming that the season gonna, is going to go all the way through. But I, I think when you have a superstar like Lamar at quarterback and, and you identify that, you need to start building everything around him. Right. And yeah. they did the opposite of that this offseason. Yeah. Uh, like we, we didn't even mention it, but, you know, they traded away Hayden Hurst. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not a big Hayden Hurst fan, but he was there. He was your number two tight end. That was a big deal to you guys last season, right? You know, best yeah. tight end room in the league. You didn't replace him. You know, you didn't do anything to replace him. You lost Marshall Yonda. And granted, you know, it's tough to replace Marshall Yonda. But, I mean, you just I th- you brought in DJ Fluker and, and a couple of uh, mid to late round, you know. Uh, yeah, Ben Bredesen. Yeah, Ben Bredesen and, and Tyree Phillips. All right. Mm-hmm. I think they're going to be okay along the interior line. You know, I mean, we, we drafted Ben Powers the year before. Yeah. Right? Like you said, we brought in DJ Fluger. So I, I think somebody will step up. I, I think they'll, they'll work it out in, in the interior. Maybe, maybe so, but they've also got that question mark at center with Matt Skura, who's not healthy. Yeah, that's, that's uh, another person I wouldn't have mind seeing them get in the first round, a center, uh, Cesar Ruiz. Right. You know, I really yeah, like they would have to They would have to move up to get him, but yeah, you know, yeah. you got to do what you got to do sometimes. Yeah, yeah. So... Look, we got some good players in the draft, no doubt. You know, we didn't even mention just Justin Matabike. We got Justin Matabike mm-hmm. too. Um, but the problem is, man, I, I just thought we got the, the right players on the wrong side of the ball. Yeah, because you know why we didn't mes- mention Matabike? Because the 49ers had one of the best defenses in the league last year, right? And Pat Mahomes lit them up for 21 points in one quarter and beat them in the Super Bowl. Yeah. Defense doesn't, doesn't win you championships. No. Nah. It, it doesn't. And you have a quarterback, like, like you said, you have a quarterback like Mahomes or like Lamar, man, pour it on on offense and let him go win you games. Yeah, because that's really what the problem was in the playoffs. It wasn't that we couldn't stop the run. It's that we scored 12 points, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, your defense is going to have games like that, especially in the playoffs when everybody's playing their best. Especially, look, moving forward, we had to play the Chiefs, mm-hmm. right? We're going to we're gonna have to get through the Chiefs to get to the Super Bowl. You know, and when they put up points, we had to be able to respond. Yeah, the, the best run stopper in the history of football is points, yeah. period. I don't care how good your defense is. Like, people will be able to run on you at some point. You know, yeah. if, if they have the O-line and they have the running back, they'll be able to do it. Yeah. The if, problem you was, score, if you score 14 points, they're not running anymore. Right. They won't even attempt it. No, is that, exactly. exactly. You know, like, like Baltimore when they got down. Yeah, and they were the best rushing team in history, and they just stopped running. Um, they didn't even try to run though. Like they had yeah. what six carries? That's what I'm saying. They 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 got down really early, and they quit running. They yeah. they were running fine. Yeah, you know, they, they were. on those on those few carries, and then they said, "Hey, we're losing. We have to catch up." And you don't catch up by running the ball. And you know, to me, it's okay. You know, I feel like. It's got to be one or the other, right? Did you guys panic in that game, right? Because, you know, Harbaugh says, you know, they didn't panic. That's just what the game plan was. So your game plan was to throw it, you know, 60-plus times? No, it wasn't. He's like, right. look, listen, we, I, say this, I say this lovingly, all right? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Harbaugh fan. Harbaugh's a liar, right? Yeah. Every, every, everything he says in press conferences is a, is a lie. Right, right. You didn't plan to throw the ball that many times. You, 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 no way. You had, 60, 60, 60 pass attempts and Lamar ran it more than 20 times? No, that you, wasn't your plan. Right. You, you want to throw it that many times to two rookies and a second-year tight end. One, second one, year of the tight rookies, one of the rookies who was injured. Yeah. Yeah. And one who had, what was it, 21 catches for the season? Yeah. That was your plan? Yeah. And after there were about four okay. drops, after there were about four drops in a game, you still wanted to pass the ball? Yeah, won by the the uh, the veteran that you brought in, the sure-handed veteran. <laughs> yeah, 
So, <laughs> okay. That, that, no, that wasn't your plan. Stop lying. No. So, but that's the plan that you went to because, you know, you felt like, okay, we're, we're getting down and we need to score quickly to answer. But they showed you that, okay, we need more help on that side of the ball. Like you saw it right there. I mean, you go and look at it. Hey, it's, it's, not, it's not even that I think Miles Boykin is going to be bad. You know, it's just that he's not ready yet. And when's he going to be ready? Who knows? But we can't yeah. wait to see, right? So it's either you have to be aggressive and train for somebody. You know, I heard DeAndre Hopkins was available. That's what I'm saying. They could have they spent that number one pick because he went for a second-round pick for some ungodly reason. Trade your first-round pick. And, help, man, listen, I love Mark Ingram. Trade Mark Ingram, too, if you have to. Get DeAndre Hopkins in there and take J.K. in the second round, and now he's your running back. Yeah. And you're yeah. a better team. But it's, it's not, just, not just Hopkins. You know, you guys picked up um, – uh, what's his name? Robbie Anderson. You picked up Robbie Anderson, right? Mm-hmm. You, we could have gotten Robbie Anderson. To be fair, though, they would have had to pay him uh, money, and that's not a thing that Baltimore does. <laughs> Plus, he's not, not old offense. enough to be signed. <laughs> he's not old enough to be signed in Baltimore either. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah. he's still on the right side of 30. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. You know, um, like I said, AB is still out there. And mm-hmm. I know there's some mixed feelings about that with, with Ravens fans, right? Some think he'll be, a, he'll be too much of a, of a headache, which I don't, I don't subscribe to that, 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 that train no. of thought. No. Um, and some are, are on board with it, and you should be on board with it. He's still one of the best wide receivers in the league. And that's what we need. We, we need some weapons, man. We need some, we need some legit threats. We don't have any legit threats outside of Lamar. Right. You know? Yeah, you know, hopefully – Hollywood is that this year. He, yeah, I hope I mean, so. Look, you know, you've seen the the workout tapes. Uh, he looks this, good. This offseason, he look, yeah, he looks fantastic. They say he's up to like 180 now, which is, you know, an extra 25 pounds over what he played at last year. I mean, he, he looks strong. He looks fast. And obviously, he showed last year he's got talent. Right? Yeah. So, you expect a, a, a big season out of him. But that's not a guarantee. Nope. It's not a guarantee at all. Nope. 